Let's make history. Staten Island was first settled by the Clovis people or the Clovis culture from 14,000 years ago. These are the ancestors of the Native Americans which Columbus encountered when he got to the Americas. They were before the Native Americans and archaeologists call them the Clovis culture. Clovis referring to their distinctive spearheads which got their name from Clovis, New Mexico where they were first discovered in the 1930s. They hunted big game like mammoths, uh, bison, huge sloths, probably like moose, etc. They came over through Asia. They crossed over during an ice age. They crossed over the Bering Strait, which is a small strip of water, about 50 miles or so. And it's right on the northwestern edge of Alaska. And they were able to walk over that and eventually populated America. Uh, and these spearheads, these unique spearheads that they used were found in other states. First was New Mexico, as I stated, Wisconsin, Georgia, Ohio, and Staten Island. And as a matter of fact, one of their spearheads, because there were different types, one of the Clovis spearheads is actually named after a neighborhood in Staten Island, the, the Rossville section. The first European to touch foot on Staten Island soil was Verrazano, who the Verrazano Bridge is named after, obviously. He encountered the Lenape Native Americans who settled that area after about 5,000 years ago, long after the, uh, the Clovis culture was gone. It was the Lenape Native Americans who were later referred to as the Delaware Indians. Verrazano came across them first, then that was in the early 1500s. Then about a century later, the Dutch arrived and there were many feuds between the Dutch and the Lenape, but eventually in the uh, uh, later part of the 1600s, the Dutch did start a settlement called Old Dorp in Staten Island. And that translates to Old Town or Old Village. In addition to that, they granted land to uh, French Protestants known as Huguenots. And about a third of the population of Staten Island actually spoke French back in the 16 and 1700s. Then of course the English took over. They named it Staten Island, the Dutch named it Staten Island after the States General, which is, which is a political office in the Netherlands. So Staten Island actually translates to States Island. Then when the English took over, they renamed it Richmond. And though to this day it, it, it regained its original name, Staten Island, it's also on paper, Richmond County. Staten Island is also known as, and is also referred to as Richmond County. Like Manhattan is New York County, Brooklyn is Kings County, etc. Then the English proceeded to divide the island into four sections, Northfield, Westfield, Southfield, and Castleton. The problem was that Staten Island being so isolated had many issues as far as infrastructure is concerned. So that's why it was in their best interest to join the city of New York and become a borough rather than its own entity. And a monumental move for Staten Island's growth was indeed when the Verrazano Bridge opened up in 1964. A large part of Staten Island today and for many years has been suburban. Many Italians live in Staten Island. You have your uh, urban areas on the north end, which is like where the neighborhood where Wu Tang Clan comes from. That's on the north section of Staten Island. But for the most part, it's pretty uh, suburban, even somewhat rural in certain areas. Along the western coast of Staten Island, or I should say on the New Jersey side of Staten Island, there's even a wildlife refuge and just lots of parks, 
Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and X.